Hi people! For this video I want to show you how you can pull pretty much the entire cathedral dungeon and kill them all without using ice block whatsoever. Uh, now as I'm sure you know if you've ever done this before there are a whole bunch of problems connected to the ice block. It could be that you're pretty much instantly killed as soon as you leave the ice block uh, or at least that you lose a majority of your life. Uh, it could be perhaps that your ice block just isn't off cooldown or whatever it may be. Uh, and I find this to be a actually very surprisingly smooth way to do the dungeon. Just gonna fix some spells before I show you how you can do it. Uh, and because I'm not boosting any people, I'm not gonna kill them up in front of me. Otherwise, you would have done that. Anyway, the timer is started and I fixed all my buffs and we're going. The first thing you're gonna wanna do when you do this 90 mob plus pull is make your way to the cathedral without pulling anything on the way there. If you weren't doing this big pull, you would probably start by pulling mobs in the tunnel. However, that's just not a very good solution or a good way to pull from my experience. As you could see, we just went through my gear and a total of 81 frost resistance. Uh, it's also a good idea to have your PvP trinket equipped as that can save your life easily. To get to where we need to be, you run between those two, sneak here and then jump to the right of this guy. Apply your shields and then pull Mograine with a rank 1 blizzard, turn around and blink. You've now pulled everything inside the cathedral, inside the cathedral dungeon, uh, including the boss. Now we're gonna make our way back to the entrance and try and avoid pulling anything all the way there, as they could chain pull other things and it could just screw you up. Uh, you don't have to do this exactly this way. Uh, there's only four more mobs you're gonna get by doing it like this. However, it does seem to gather up the mobs quite nicely. So even though it's just a minor increase in experience, it could actually be a overall good thing to do. As soon as you come out of that tunnel, you wanna have your blink ready. Uh, now we're just gonna make pretty much a whole lap around the courtyard pulling all the mobs. Some of them, such as those two, are gonna be well, you have to pull them with some sort of damaging spell or silence, uh, and most of them will just be chain pulled by the snake of mobs coming behind you. Make sure to jump on this ledge, as it is a reset point, meaning all mobs will stop for maybe half a second, giving you some extra time. Pull those two with an arcane explosion, this guy as well. Try and keep your shields up. Uh, avoid using mana shield unless you have to, as you will lose a lot of mana using it. And we're just continuously gonna make our way. As you can see the timer is at 2 minutes and 20 seconds. So it's pretty fast already. Those two mobs you need to pull by doing damage or affecting them. They won't be pulled by, well by the chain. Over here we have a reset point here. It's this ledge. So if you need to reset or just want to slow them down. You can jump onto this and then jump down again. That will buy you maybe half a second. We keep going, and now we've pulled pretty much every single mob inside the instance. And now you're gonna need to use your blink again. There we go. If you don't blink, you would have gotten caught by that big pack right there, and that would have killed you. Uh, it's also a tricky place to use Frost Novo Crown of Cold because of these pillars and ledges that will block it. So just do a blink, and it will all be good. And now we're gonna get to the right place where we can start killing them off. So we're gonna just beeline across this fountain here, make our way on top of the right, uh, I don't know, lion pillar, something like this. You can see they're very gathered. Jump down. Uh, oh, and also, so normally what you do now is you'd either ice block there in the stairs or you do it, just a second, on that ledge. Uh, if you do it on the stairs, there would be a big chance of just getting insta-killed as soon as you broke ice block. <clears throat> uh, because they would spread all around you. However, if you were to do it there, they would only stand there. But you would also have the casters in the melee group. So when you were killing off the melee guys, you would also kill off your mana source. And because some mobs can heal themselves, they're not going to die as fast. And good luck trying to kill them when you don't have any source of mana. So there are a bunch of problems um, related to using ice block that we're just completely avoiding now by doing this method. So we're gonna start, wanna start down on the grass, and we're gonna slow 
all the melee boys. They're very nicely slowed here, and now we jump up and start killing them off. Uh, there are some chaplains running around, but we're gonna get them caught in this blizzard um, kiting as well. Uh, now, there is no way to slow Mograine. You can only reduce his attack speed with ice armor and frost armor. But he's always gonna be hitting you just a little bit, but your shields can handle that. It's no problem whatsoever. Uh, we're getting really lucky, and what you wanna have them do is... You want them to reach either enraged or fleeing health uh, levels when they're moving down from the ledge onto the grass towards you. Uh, as that will allow you to catch both the enraged ones and the fleeing ones when you're doing your next blizzard up here. So in the mobs that are going over there or maybe up the stairs and the mobs that are running towards you, they're all gonna be caught in this blizzard, allowing you to finish them off. Now, sadly, I have hidden the uh, kill counter beneath the blizzard channel bar, but I'm going to move it in a second. There we go. 70, 82 kills so far, and we are just reaching four minutes. So a very quick and effective run. Uh, very clean, killing off all the melee guys, including the ones healing. And now we only have the casters left and, of course, Mograine. So as you can see, I am at full health, I am at full mana, uh, and I'm just finishing off the last guys. I placed the blizzard a little bit bad, but it won't really matter. Now, if you uh, if you were boosting people, you could have them run in, start looting, you know, about now really. You can say that, hey, you can start looting now, and they're just going to run in and pick up everything for you. Maybe you've reserved greens or something, so you can have that on the group loots uh, and just need on them. Now, when there's only Mograine left, you have a couple of options. Either you could try or and reset him, which is what I'm going to be trying to do now by jumping onto this ledge. However, I failed, probably because I don't have the patience right now to do it, um, and he's not going to leave combat. You can also kill him, which is what I'm going to do right now. He won't, however, give any experience, and he's not counted as a kill, and if you've ever done this encounter, I'm sure you know why that is. Uh, it's going to become obvious later on. There we go. Now, if you would just have killed them off from the beginning or whatever, this would all probably be looted now and you'd be ready to run out and either reset uh, or go armory. We're gonna speed ahead with all the looting. And now we're gonna take a look throughout the dungeon just to make sure that we actually got everything. And as you can see on the lower courtyard, everything is gone. So we're gonna make our way up to the upper parts and see what we have left there if anything. If you'd want to sell the boss loot, uh, you would also move up into the cathedral as I'm doing now. Um, as you can see the timer says seven minutes, but that's time spent looting as well. We move inside, you can see there's nothing left here. Speed ahead, there's nothing in the right room. Uh, speed ahead again, there's nothing in these rooms over here. They're completely empty, so this is a complete dungeon clear. There's not well, there's basically three mobs left. Uh, it's High Inquisitor White Main, we have the uh, Skelly Boy in the secret room, and we have the one mob at the entrance I decided not to kill. So, in total, you can get 95 kills out of a single run. If you, for example, feel like armor is a bit tricky, which I feel it is, then maybe you should just do complete cathedral clears over and over until you get instance capped, and then just take a short break and come back. As she rests as Mograin now, he's gonna spawn down there uh, where he was killed in the lower courtyard. Meaning you have maybe 30 seconds to finish her off, which is more than enough for me. There he comes. And we finish him off as well. And there we go. Now you can sell loot from bosses as well. So, this was my way of doing a complete cathedral clear without even using ice block. Uh, and as you could see, when it came to my health and mana, it was a very smooth sailing. Uh, it never went down, basically, except for in the end here. Unlike how it would have looked if I used Ice Block, as, as I'm sure you know, that often costs a lot of life as well, have, forcing you to play very careful not to die in this part of the pool. Now, even if you decide that I prefer using Ice Block for whatever reason. It could still be helpful to just know that it's possible to do it without Ice Block. If you maybe forgot that it was on cooldown, or maybe you were forced to use it to remove a slow to not get yourself killed earlier. Uh, 
But anyway, this was all I had for now. Hopefully you learned something new. Make sure to like if you enjoyed this and subscribe if you want to see, well, more videos. I make all kinds of videos about WoW Classic. Uh, if you have any questions or just want to say hi, I stream over at twitch.tv slash Clouds. I'll have a link in the description. Anyways, this was all from me for now. Like if you enjoyed and uh, I'll see you later. See ya!